so now we have designed as well as optimized this steel structure after that we need to check various other parameters also for a typical steel structure for example if we want to check whether we have uh, done the correct response spectrum analysis or not we need to go to display and show tables here there are various other parameters that we can check for example we can check the what is the material list that is what is the total uh, weight of the st structure that we are using so we need to go to display model and structure data here you will find the material list by element type by section by story we don't need uh, this by story after that the analysis option that is we can check the displacements we can check the reactions we can check the model results we can check the stiffnesses we can check the beam forces we can check the this energy work here also and similarly we can extract the uh, design forces also and we can extract the steel design also so left click on okay so here we can see that the there are various now uh, tables here for example if we want to check first of all whether the response spectrum analysis is correct or not so here you can see that elx and rsx both of the values are same so uh, it means that whatever uh, we have done for the whatever scale factor that we had entered in the entered in the rsx and rsz load case uh, uh, option the scale factor is correct and uh, similarly we can check the what exactly is the wind load uh, reactions here and what is the dead load total reaction dead load uh, live load total reaction and similarly all the various others uh, these reactions similarly for load combinations and uh, similarly we can check the beam design forces so this table will show you all the uh, beam numbers that is for beam b2 under this load combination of 0.9 dead load plus collateral load plus 1.5 wind load uh, that the point at this point and uh, the uh, p that is vertical force actual force is this and the horizontal uh, shear forces are of this value and moment m2 and m3 are of this value so if you will notice here that for this uh, beam b2 for this load combination it is giving us a value on three stations so similarly it has divided all the members on, into three stations that is one two and three again one two and three similarly it is showing you to show the brace design forces also column design forces also design reactions that is each and for each and every joint for and for each and every load combination it has given us a separate value and to export this value into excel it is very easy just right click here and then left click on export to excel so by this option you can easily export all this data to the excel uh, on the condition that excel should be installed on your system after that model uh, direction factors model load participation ratios that is under the dynamic uh, ux and ui U, for ux it is showing 100% participation and for ui it is showing 99.6 to 96.09 under static and dynamic and it will show the model participation factors so and after that it, it will show the model periods and frequency so this is the fundamental period of the structure is that it is 0 0.383 seconds basically in first three modes if you will see uh, clearly here basically in first three mode in first mode only 18 percent mass is participating in the second mode only 35 percent mass is participating and on the third mode only 56 percent mass is participating this low um, par mass participation factor is mostly observed in this type of widely spaced steel structures and then again in the fourth it abruptly increases to 99.98 percentage so basically if you will see here the cumulative sum of the model participating mass ratio in the global x direction so although this type of behavior is not desirable but we cannot escape from this type of behavior in this type of widely spaced steel structure and after that what i was uh, going to show you here 
that is material list by section so we can first of all see here that with that is member one of low depth underscore seven seven hundred we have 34 number of pieces the total length is 154.098 and total weight is 166.0928 kN that is approximately 16.7 metric ton so we can right click here and then left click on export to excel preparing boq is a very important part in the design offices so we can add all the sum here and then divide by 9.81 so approximately 120 metric ton of steel structure is being used in our model so on your hand you can uh, reduce this quantity to 100 metric ton also so this is all up to the optimization of a structural engineer and uh, so, so if you will see here you can see that member 1 is approximately 16.6 .6. similarly member 1 prismatic 800 to 700 is of uh, this much weight and column 400 is of this much weight column middle is of this much weight only this bracings and tie beams are costing us approximately 23 metric ton of steel structure and pieces are also given so there are basically 152 number of tie beams in our structure and we can save this excel file if we want it for our documentation purposes so this is materialist per section similarly we can also select the materialist by element type that is for under under column the total weight is 25.258 kilonewton that is approximately 26 metric ton for beams 90 metric ton of structure is being used that is 89 892 divided by 10 approximately 9.81 and for bracing approximately 19 kilonewton uh, of structure is being used so overall now our design is somewhat uh, in the line of the IS 800-2007 code so if you want you can further optimize the steel structure as I was saying you that our weight is approximately this uh, 119 metric ton you can reduce it to approximately 80 to 90 metric ton also so it's all up to the engineer that how much optimization he or she can uh, do in the practical design of steel structures so this is the concluding lecture of this uh, PB shed. So, so we can uh, congratulate yourself here that uh, you can you have understood this lecture. I hope you have understood this, this lecture and if you will face any type of problem in the designing, you are most welcome to raise your points here.